Okay, well, let's flash her up and see what's going to happen here. So. I'm here with my granddaughter, Brooke. She was telling me she wants to learn to fly. So I thought, well, I'll find her little tail dragger. And so we found this one here. So we're going to take a look at a plane. What do you think of the plane, Brooke? It's, it's a plane. <laughs> it's a plane. <laughs> so why do you want to learn to fly? I don't know. I've always been interested in it. So, And well, you've been a pilot for however long, and I thought it was interesting. Well, good. Well, it was hard to find any tail draggers out there. <clears throat> we are looking for a 140, but we ended up with this Blanca 14-2, I think it is, a 14-3 or whatever. 1946, so it's fairly new, but it had a bit of hail damage. So this is going to be a ground up for Brooke. We're going to see if we can get some new fabric on it and paint it up and uh, get it back in the air. This plane has been everywhere. It's been up in uh, Lupin, Yellowknife, um, all over the north. And all, I see it was at Pemberton, in Selkirk, Saskatchewan, here at Pinocchio and Wetaskiwin, and all over. It's, it's crazy. If we can go half the places this went, Brooke will have a lot of hours under her belt. So, so that's, that's what we're here doing today. So what we're doing here, it's, it looks not too bad from where you're standing, but if you're up above, it got a lot of hail damage. And so the fabric needs to be pretty well redone on the fuselage. The wings are fine. The wings had a plastic backing in them, even though they're wood wings, they have a plastic coat on them and then, and then the fabric cover. <clears throat> So we're going to investigate how hard this is to uh, refabric the whole plane. So hopefully you'll hang with us as we're learning and maybe you'll learn something too. So thanks for joining us today and may all your skies be blue.